and I think we cut that footage off because I haven't been paying attention to the red FPS. So I just so then I could just use my Hearthstone. The Hearthstone just teleports me back to the beginning or wherever I just set my house at home. Then we managed to kill <laughs> Yerog. It's pretty uncommon. So then you know, it's not so then he, you only get the burning blade medallion from him. So let's start on these quests. So then I'm leave medallion. I just get dusk co covered leggings. And then we have to speak with Master Gadrin in his engine village. <coughs> so I got the Pell Sock and now we have to now now we have to so then I think the shaman quest is that the call of earth, find a spirit rock and drink the earth, Sapta. Oh, so you learn earth shock. So earth shock is an instantly damaging spell that deals nature damage and like reducing the attack speed of the enemy for a short duration. So before you move on to Sentient Village, we need to um, run up a hidden pathway into in, in, in. so there. This place is known for having like some hidden pathways. I mean, like you could just like go to the Barrens uh, using these. Because it's really just the desert with rocks and stuff. Right. Sorry about that, but there are no, there are no clear barriers about this place. It, it's just a bunch of rocks. So then we should try to find it. I like, I have found it before, but then you know I just don't know. No, I'm just gonna edit it. We're back on, and then this place. Uh, this is the hidden path. It's so it's not that too far, but they go through this path and then you go get the spirit rock. So then it's a shaman shrine. I hope it's not bugged. Now I found this Spider-Man station of Earth. So now we have to find the rogue quartz. Bring the rogue quartz to Kanaga Earth Collar. <clears throat> you have to go down here, or you can, or you can just abuse the stock report, which is basically a better version of Hearthstone because it it restore it places you to exact same place. It's almost the same cast time and. It's a 5 minute cooldown. Hearthstone is a 30 minute cooldown. So yeah, people abuse it a lot. So then, this is Kanaka Earthcaller. So we managed to get the Stone Skin Totem. It's, it's, one, it's one of the many totems for the Shaman. So then... It gives... It gives surrounding allies armor. You see, shamans are good for dun uh, instances because and dungeons and raids because of the totems. They can have the four at once, and four is pretty big, you know, considering what your totems can do. I mean, shamans, like, without the nerfs that they received, they're a really good class. They have revised totems, can wear chainmail eventually. They can have shields, um, use weapons that like paladins would be using. They used to be horde exclusive, but now after Burning Crusade, um, they introduced draining aliens, like you know, the kind of aliens. I think like if I had to do an alliance playthrough, which I might, then I think I'll just go drainate. But then I think I should do druid because only two only two races can do can go for druid. Because only two races so far don't care enough about nature to be a druid. So then, after the introduction of the Burning Crusade, Draenei can become shaman. They're the alliance, and so the alliance um, exclusive. 
the class is called the Paladin. Paladins are, are like very powerful. They can tank, heal, and do DPS at once. They're quite tanky. So yeah, um, so by killing the healer, if it's a, and if it's and if the healer is a paladin, then you're gonna have some trouble. So then, um, now there are some aggressive mobs. Aggressive mobs, they um, they they'll attack you automatically if you wander too close to their turf. But you can just run away if you really don't want to. Then this engine village is basically troll village. So you can master worn out. So now, yeah, we have quite a few quests to do. So let's kill Zalzane. Zalzane is quite powerful. Like you'll be in such a village grinding for a while because you have these quests. There are quite a few quests. See, some of them are like orange and red. Orange is like they're like three levels higher or so, but red. Red, they're like at least five or six levels higher. Like, uh, if, but if if their um level is you can just show up what's called. I mean, like they're like way too high level. Okay, so what we must do is one thwarting the cool car aggression. So we have to um go down here, kill um central coal cars and burn their junk. Um, this can be challenging because. Unless unless you're a rogue, because like there are a lot of them you have to fight. A lot. And like quests like these is why. <laughs> is why I really don't like doing these quests. The Earth Shock is like an instant cast, so that's always nice. Like, it obviously has a shorter range, because it doesn't have a channel. Well, I guess I'll go mostly DPS, but if I do manage to pick up something, else, I can heal. Like, just reduce... Then start off by killing these surf crawlers, and, and loot their mucus, I don't know, see, for our glue. Don't ask how. Then also there's Makuras. We have to get we have to get four Makuras eyes. They're actually hard. They don't drop as often as you would think. So I would only use my attack speed slow once they get close. See, look, that didn't drop anything. I could be here for a while. Also, now I'm, I can actually run out of mana. Like. Um, Death Knights don't use uh, mana, they use rune. Uh, warriors use rage and, and rogues they use they use energy. They, you don't need like energy is, is a lot of, is like faster generating but more but more but you use it more. So we have to go for a mana break. Like they require they <laughs> you gain mana really quickly <laughs> at early level. CRA regain all my mana after taking a drink. So totems are really the gimmick about shamans. No other class has something like that. I mean war warlocks have some pets. Hunters have real uh, as a live pet, warriors have rage, which so far I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. But then I don't think that they do anything. The more rage you have, other than fuel your resource. Though I guess I found a force to kill the scorpions. We got a score, uh, so then there's not really much to say 
once you've been grinding in the same place for like 50 seconds, I'm, I'm a very bad commentator, and I will think that this place, this channel will ever get more than a thousand views. But, you know, eh, who cares? I got four crawl mixes. But the only thing that you'll find out later on is that <laughs> a lot of mobs will be pulled at once from trying to attack one. If there's more than one of this mob, then there's always a chance that the other one will be pulled. So then, the only reason that long the horde is that Rage Fire Chasm will be found in which is like the capital. We'll go there later, and also Wailing Caverns, which is another place. You also go, you know, we, it's also in the Barrens, which is basically horror territory. So I guess we leveled up. So now we have three Makura eyes. The fourth one will always be a big challenge, and we and we I have all our mana back because leveling up saves uh, saves mana. And saves drinks to be drank. So even though it's lightning, it has nature damage. I mean, I there is no there is no lightning element. There are only five elements in the game: arc, game, fire, nature, frost, and shadow. So then, there are th uh, there are three t kinds of territories: enemy territory, friend, which is basically the alliance's territory, 